Best Supporting Actress, and the winner was Viola Davis for Fences. The nominees were Naomi Harris for Moonlight, Nicole Kidman Lion, Octavia Spencer Hidden Figures, and Michelle Williams Manchester by the Sea. I thought this was the single most stacked category of the year, mm -hmm. although most people seem to think it was also a lock that Viola Davis was. My, my only criticism about Viola Davis winning was that she should have been in the Best Lead Actress category. But she wasn't. She was in this category. So fine. If that's the case, she deserved to win. Anybody, uh, Christian, what about you? I uh, I think that she was, I thought it was a lock. And we had this conversation last week. I actually think I understand why she was best supporting. I know I'm in the minority there. But I thought she was uh, great. And I thought she was a lock. But I thought everybody else that was deserved to be nominated. But yeah, I thought I knew she was going to win. Yeah, I mean, Viola versus Emma would have been a pretty good best lead <laughs> actress battle. But seeing her win the best supporting actress, I thought was totally deserved. Naomi Harris, to me, did such an amazing job in Moonlight as well. Would not have been complaining if she won, but I think Viola had so much more to do with her character and so much more screen time, to be fair to her, that she deserved that trophy. Jeremy? Yeah, it's a it's a close race, but this is one of those cases where you can see the trailer and you're like, someone's winning something for that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just that simple. Someone's winning something. So, hey, I'm glad she is. She's, she is still the greatest pick for Amanda Waller in Suicide Squad they could have ever gotten. She's the a great Oscar actress. winning Suicide Oscar Squad. Winning. Oscar Suicide winning Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad right. by mm -hmm. the way. Michael? I agree. I mean, Viola was great. I thought that Michelle Williams' performance was chilling. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah chilling. Yeah. Just that one scene. I mean, her performance was small. You know, it wasn't as much screen time, but that, that one scene with her and Casey Affleck, I couldn't imagine doing that as, like, as an actor, like go, doing it over and over and over. I, I bet you they only shot two, three takes of that because just to have to go there uh, was, was impressive. Um, they, they were all good. I think that the best uh, supporting actor and best supporting actress uh, uh, categories in general or the least sort of politically motivated categories in terms of they're not going to give you a supporting actor for body of work. Uh, I believe Martin Lando, was he supporting actor? Mm -hmm. I think that's sort of done that. But it, for the most part, I think it's really like these people all deserve it. Whoever wins, it's like fair ground. And both Naomi Harris was wonderful. Nicole Kidman was incredible. Octavia Spencer was incredible. It was a stack, stack category, but we all think the right person ended up winning that. All right, what's next, Ashley? Best Supporting Actor. The winner was Mahershala Ali for Mo Moonlight. The nominees were Jeff Bridges, Hell or High Water, Lucas Hedges for Manchester by the Sea, Dev Patel, Lion, and Michael Shannon for Nocturnal Animals. Oh, one of the Dark Horse uh, picks that I had last night was actually Dev Patel. I thought Dev Patel might surprise a lot of people, <laughs> even though he's probably ended up being third or fourth on the voting list. I thought maybe there's a chance Jeff Bridges might stick in there. He was so good at Hell yeah. but who's going to complain about Ali winning that? He, his performance was incredible. His was speech was, was incredible. His speech, his speech was, was awesome. Between him and Viola Davis, I'm not sure whose speech I like the most. I loved his speech, man. I thought it was so classy and such a great way to start it off. He, I thought every speech should do that. It's like you start off, you tell a story how about it, you got there, you thank the people that that you know helped you get there, you thank your loved one, and then you're out. I thought it was so classy the way he just hit and ran, and it was it was he's great. That this dude's a star, Michael. I thought he's great. Um, I thought his speech was great. His performance was great. I, I was surprised because his, his, the screen time between him and the other kids who played Shy Rome, especially the one in the middle, yeah, um, the, yeah, the yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. adolescent, yeah. you know, I thought I thought he would get nominated. But though, that whole cast, all all four, all four of those actors were great. But 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 his his performance was great, you know. And I think he is a star. I think he's got a great career. He's very versatile because he could be very nefarious and also have a real sweet vulnerability. He, he's an excellent actor. Jeremy. Yeah, he's one of those guys where I mean, when you say he's a star, absolutely. 2016 hit, and you're like, this dude seemingly came out of nowhere. Yeah. He's been around, but yeah. this dude in 2016 is like, Says I'm here. Yep. And shit's yeah, happening. Yeah. I'm getting something for it. He did. Dude's a great actor. He's. We're gonna see him for decades to come. Yeah, I love what he said in his speech about how this could be any any number of people from Moonlight could be standing up here right now, and that's how the night ended up, which I thought was a nice way to bookend <laughs> the show. Uh, he what, to go back to Christian's point. That's the way to kick off a show, man. You had Justin Timberlake's opening number. Yeah. That was the first award given. He gave a great speech, and we were off to a rolling start at the Oscars. Um, <laughs> that was brought up last night. Oh, oh I, said, I said, no. My biggest pet peeve of the evening. Zootopia should not have won Best Animated Film. Moana should have won Best Original or Best Animated Film. Get that. into your nerd shit. Yeah. I want to ask you guys about your nerd shit because the Oscars <laughs> isn't for the nerds, the sci-fi. <laughs> Zootopia I thought deserved it. Yeah, I like Zootopia. I like Zootopia a lot. But. Zootopia proved how far a, a good DMV joke can take it's you. It's true. that sloth thing was so <laughs> I, funny. Yeah. You can watch I that like 30 Zootopia. times and die laughing yeah. each and every time. I still think Kubo and the Two Strings should have won. I mean, yeah, so that's, uh, I mean, there's the